everybody doing? Jerry here. I had uh, a fucking amazing uh, out-of-body experience last night, and I want to share it with you guys, you know? I really uh, appreciate you guys listening to my shit, because, I mean, who, who else am I going to share it with? You know, you can't share this shit with uh, your co-workers, the guy next door, you know? You, you know, so I appreciate you guys hearing my shit. Um... What had happened was, I laid down, and I, you know, I laid down on my back, and I opened my chakras, and I kind of did my normal thing that I do, you know, when I get ready for an out-of-body experience, okay? I missed the projection, I fell into a sleep, right? And I had this dog, and she died several years ago, and uh, I was playing with her in the dream, and eventually I, I come to a point where I looked at my hands and I, I look at my hands a lot so when I looked at my hands I became lucid and then I became aware that I was dreaming okay so I said fuck I missed a projection I called out from my body and I came back to my body and I thought about getting up and having a cigarette but I said wait a minute I haven't moved yet so I'm in the, the perfect fucking uh, state for an out of body experience you know um, but I'd already been in a dream, and when you fall into those deep levels of sleep, it's hard to remain lucid, okay? So you have to kind of keep the experience short. But what I did is I, if you imagine a clock laying flat and the hour hand spinning, so I'm laying flat and I start spinning to the right, and I'm spinning, and I'm, you know, I was spinning, you know, and uh, all of a sudden just boom, I'm out and, uh, you know, I'm flying and, uh, you talking to the birds, Storm? Talking to the birds? But, uh, um, I love my cat, uh, where was it? But, uh, you know, everything was dark, and, uh, it usually is as you get out of body. Eventually, I started to slow down, and I started to look at my hands, you know, and I hit a ground, and I said, clarity now, and my vision come too, right? So my vision come too, and, uh, if you can imagine like a cul-de-sac, right? But I'm in the center, it's in the center, it's not on a dead end. So I'm in the center, and there's a bunch of mansions, there's driveways all around that lead to these huge uh, fucking mansions. And I begin to think, wait a minute, I've heard this before. The fucking Christians believe that when you die, you know, everybody has a mansion, okay? So I started to think about this shit, you know? And I realized I'm in the non-physical reality. Because I've been so many fucking times and I've experienced it, uh, you know, I knew that I was in the non-physical reality or the first four levels of the astral, okay? So, there's trees around too, and they're fucking beautiful. The trees and, uh, flowers and they're white, white blooming, uh, with like red berries and it, it just reminds you of this whole kind of Christmassy scene. It was just, it was just fucking awesome. It was amazing. You know, I, I remember just looking. At, at the blooms and, and just saying, wow, that's amazing, you know. And, uh, you know, I look at my hands getting clarity now, and I start to observe the scene, and I look around, there's a bunch of mansions, and, uh, okay, where do I go from here? So I see a mansion that has lights on it. So I say, okay, that's the target, right? So I start heading towards it, and I'm kind of a running pace, I'm kind of floating in, you know. And I come to the screen door, the door is open, but the screen door is shut. And I fly straight into it, and I hit it and bounce off. And I've experienced this many times, which reaffirmed that I was in the non-physical reality. Um, so I, I reached up with my hand, and I opened the door, you know, and I, I went on in. And uh, I went straight to uh, the back of it. And when I come in this room, there's a bunch of people sitting at a table. You know, I'm not going to go into who they were, you know, but... Um, I looked at my hands, I said, clarity now, and I could hear, you know, my voice loud and clear, you know, and, uh, you know, sometimes you experience it, you know, your voice is hard to talk, you know, and, and the whole time I'm aware of my body, and I feel my body drifting um, deeper and deeper into a sleep, you know, and um, what I do is I look at the people around the table, and when I say, clarity now, I became really lucid, and uh, I began, uh, I heard a voice that said, aren't you going to say goodbye? And, uh, you know, I, I began to look around and I started to observe the people and their eyes were kind of yellow and glazed over. And I began to start to question, uh, you know, what's wrong with them, what's wrong with their eyes? And, and kind of whole, like, what's going on here? And, and 
you know, you become lucid when you, when you do that and uh, start to question these things, you know. But as I said, I was aware of my uh, body at the same time. I felt myself going deep into the sleep. So at that point, I decided to call the experience and I, I called out from my body. And I just got up real quick, you know, and uh, recorded that. But, uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, that was a dream out of body conversion. Uh, but uh, you know, I appreciate you guys listening to me. Uh, just wanted to share that experience with you.